In this video, I will show you how to install bell tangeners for the X and Y axis on your ANIT A8. Come and join me! Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crossing channel. I would like to help you be more successful with 3D printing and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let's talk about another upgrade for the ANET A8, the belt tensioners. Why would we need belt tensioners in the first place? Uh, let's first look at how the belts for the ANET A8 are installed and what we would have to do to tension the belts without having additional belt tensioners installed. For the X-axis, this would mean that we would have to cut the zip tie that holds one of the belts behind the X carriage. Then we need to increase the tension of the belt manually until we think it's strong enough and then fix the belt again using a new zip tie. For the Y axis, it's also not easier. We need to release one of the belt holders at the bottom of the belt carriage, tighten the belt by pulling at one end and then retightening the belt holder at the same time. That's doable of course, however it could be easier, much easier. And that is where the belt tensioners come into play. The tensioners make it much easier to increase or decrease the tension of any belt by just turning the tensioning screws. Also what I like to point out, you can continue to use the belts that come with the printer, but my opinion is they are very stiff and also produce more friction because of the metal strings inside. I replaced my belts with so-called GT2 belts, which are much more flexible and also use the GT2 pulleys additionally to make the belts run even smoother and with more precision. Now before applying this upgrade, I really recommend that you install both the front and the rear frame braces linked in the description, because they will make the lower part of the frame much much stiffer and prevent it from bending when tightening the Y-axis belt specifically. Let's start implementing the belt tensioners. First, what we have to print out are the parts from Thingiverse. I've put the links for both the printable part as well as the belts and pulleys in the description down below. Additionally, you will need some screws and nuts. Some come with the printer, some do you need to get from the hardware store. A detailed list is also in the description of this video. Okay, let's start with the X-belt tensioner. Starting with the GT2 pulley, which should slide into the opening of the X tensioner easily. Then we use the 20mm M3 screw and one M3 nut to fix the pulley in the part. Now let's remove the old belt from the carriage. I will leave the old pulley where it is because it does not disturb the new belt and tensioner. Now take the new belt with the teeth facing down and pull it through the right X carriage mount above the old pulley. Then insert the belt into the left X carriage mount on the upper end. Wrap it around the motor and feed it back into the carriage mount so it comes out at the right side again. Next, form a loop with the belt teeth face to each other and fix it with a zip tie so there is an opening large enough to slip it over the carriage's belt attachment screw. Now take the belt tensioner and feed the other end of the belt through it at the upper side. Insert the two M3 nuts into the openings that face to the printer and screw in the long M3 screws. Then push the belt tensioner into the right X carriage mount's opening. Wrap the belt around the tensioner pulley and feed it through the tensioner and the X carriage mount at the lower side until it comes out to the left. Now take the belt, pull it straight and wrap it around the other belt attachment screw on the carriage so it can estimate where you need to cut it so you have some overlap left to fix it with a zip tie. The belt should already have some reasonable tension but it does not have to be really tight. Fix both belt attachments with a second zip tie just to make sure nothing moves anymore. 
Then you can start tightening the X tensioner screws until the tensioner starts pushing out of the carriage mount. It's fine if you see that both screws are not aligned. In my case, I had pushed through the upper rod obviously much more into the frame part than the lower rod. So the end of the rods where the screws push against are not aligned and so the belt tensioner screws are also not aligned, of course. Finally, you should make sure that, especially on the right X carriage mount, the belt runs smoothly without scratching the plastic. If you see that it's not running in the middle, as in my case, Fix the position of the according attachment screw so it comes out a little bit more and the lower and the upper belt are really running straight above each other. Now finally the tension should be applied so the belt is running smoothly and at the same time has good tension. Don't over tighten it to the point where you can play a guitar on it. Now let's take care of the y-axis. Lay the printer on its backside so you can reach the belt attachment easier and release all four screws to take the old belt out. Fix this new belt to the attachment that is facing towards the y-axis motor. The belt teeth should be pointing towards you or better said away from the heat bed. Wrap the belt around the motor and feed it back to the front of the printer. Now remove the old wire axis belt pulley and mount. You can now start put together the wire axis belt tensioner. For me the opening where the GT2 pulley needs to run was too tight so I had to do some rasping to open the part enough so the pulley turns freely. Fix the pulley to the holder with one M3 by 20 screw and an M3 nut. The counterpart where the tightening screw runs through is assembled by using an M4 nut and an M4 screw which is at least 24 mm long to have some room for tightening. Insert two M3 nuts into the little slots at the end of the belt tensioner, then push this part through the two openings at the upper side of the printer frame. Then fix the pulley counterpart to the tensioner part using two M3 by 20 mm screws. Pull the belt around the pulley, inserting it at the lower end and pulling it out to the top. Lay the belt on top of the heat bed now and make sure that it's also wrapped still around the motor so you don't cut uh, off unintentionally too much. And then you can already cut the belt but leave some spare lengths for the final step so it really overlets the middle of the heat bed for a good amount. Now back to the attachment at the heat bed carriage. Fix the belt to the carriage giving it some good pretension. Cut off the protruding rest so no long ends dangle around. Putting the printer back to the table we can now start increasing the y-axis belt tension using the tensioning screw. Also check whether the belt is running straight over the pulleys on both ends. Adjust the motor pulley position if needed. Finally, don't forget that we just moved and pulled and tangent almost every part of the frame, so it's really necessary to do a complete bed leveling and calibration before you start printing anything new. Now, you might ask, how much tension is enough? How much is too much? I will give you some indication what to look for. First start with a little bit less tension, just enough that all belts are not sloppy and the motor pulley doesn't slip through when you move the carriages. Then start printing a part where you will see a lot of small rapid movements and check whether the belts are vibrating a lot. If this is the case, then slowly tighten them to reduce the vibrations. The more tension you apply, the more the belts will wear off over time, so find the right balance that works best. Also, don't expect wonders in print quality improvement. These tensioners are mainly a convenience feature to make it easier to tension in the belts once they get a little bit more sloppier over time. And now we can start printing, hopefully with a bit more precision. Have fun implementing these mods. That's it for today. If you think this video was helpful, please smash the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel to support me creating new content for you and hit the bell notification icon if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.